Good morning, you guys. It is like 9.20 or so. I just got back from the gym. Um, I switched over with Nathaniel at nine, got Echo down for her first nap. She actually woke up at like 5.50 this morning, so she was extremely tired. And Rocky is watching a little bit of a movie, so that way I can get ready really quick. Honestly, this has just been like super helpful when it comes to getting ready in the morning. And so he'll watch TV for like 30 minutes and then I'll get ready and then we'll get on with our day. I wanted to share with you guys just like a little get ready because I feel like there's some products I've been loving. I think I told you guys in the last vlog that I've been like into products lately and I don't know if you are. A lot of this is probably not new, but it's new to me. So I wanted to share. For Christmas, I asked Nathaniel to get me the day like sampler kit because I've been wanting to try it for the longest time, but I just didn't want to spend money on like every single thing. So it came with like all the travel sized, like small mini sized things. And I'm so glad I did this. I think it was like $38 because they were having a sale and I got shampoo, conditioner, um, the styling cream, the oil, the wave spray and leave-in conditioner. So I've been able to try like everything and nothing has disappointed, but I will definitely say these two are my favorite. This hair oil smells so freaking good. Like so good. I have the Pura and I love the prickly pear um, scent as well. So I think I just am obsessed with that scent, but it also just makes your hair so dang soft. And then I've been really liking the styling cream too. A goal for mine for this year is to like not have to have my hair down and curled every time I vlog or like do social media content. And so this has been helping me do that. I feel like it just like smooths and like gets all the little baby hairs out so I can do just like fun little um, hairstyles. I think I'm gonna do something similar to what I have done in a previous vlog with like the whole pigtail pull through thing, but I think I'm gonna do pigtail bubble braids. It's literally one of just like the easiest hairstyles. I did legs at the gym today and my hair was soaked. And so I came home, put dry shampoo in it, blow dried it. We love just putting the sweat back into our hair and it almost felt good as new. So with the bubble braids, you just like keep adding um, elastics and then you just like pull it apart. It's nothing crazy. I'm sure you guys have seen People do this, but I'm gonna do that for a quick little cute hairstyle. That took me like two minutes. It's seriously so easy. A part of me feels like a child every time I put my hair like in two of anything, but whatever. It is what it is. I do think it's cute still. I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt today and I love like hairstyles like this with like sweatshirt and jeans. I feel like it's like a good combo. I'm telling you guys before, like if my hair would have been as sweaty as it was when I got home, I would have just been like, can't film today. I need to shower, blow dry, straighten, curl, just too much. So if you guys have been watching, you know I've been trying to find like products that I like. Um, so I'm gonna share a few that I found in the last like month or two. The first one is the NYX Brow Glue. Uh, my sister-in-law turned me on to this and I feel like it is just like so easy. Um, it just kind of like gets my eyebrows like in a good shape and it's like $6, I don't know, super affordable. Hi, do you wanna say hi? Okay. He is so funny with TV, like he doesn't really like to watch it by himself. Like he wants me to like sit with him. So he doesn't even really like sit in front of it the whole time, unless he's like really into it. He's been wanting to like skip around movies to like his favorite parts. And I'm like, dude, we can't watch TV like that. Like we can't just skip around. So I always let him skip to the part he wants while I'm feeding Echo. So that way it like keeps him there. But until then he's just kind of like, <laughs> Half in, half out. My grandma bought me this mascara for Christmas. She said she wanted to turn me on to this product because it's like $5 and it's from Amazon. Um, it works pretty good. It's called Essence Lash Princess. It's supposed to have a false lash effect. I don't know, I feel like it's pretty good. Is anyone else just like the messiest at putting mascara on? Because I always have to go in and like clean this up afterwards. I still just keep going back to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one is Nude Glow. I haven't tried this one before, like getting this too. I feel like it's like the perfect amount of like coverage, but like not too cakey, if that makes sense. 
I don't know. I just feel like for what I'm trying to do, just like a more natural look, I feel like it does the job. Another new product that I have been really liking is from Merit Beauty. This is not sponsored, but they did send this to me. And this little like highlighting stick feels like butter on my face. And it is just like the perfect like light highlight. I don't even know, but I, I love it. I haven't really found a highlighter that I like love until now. And I don't know if it's just because it feels like so good going on my face, but I also just feel like it has like just such a natural, like subtle glow. They also sent my makeup bag, which this is just like the cutest, most perfect little bag. You can also just like tie it off to make it so nothing like falls. So if you guys wanna check out anything from Merit, I'll have it linked down below. I think they gave me a discount code. Like I said, it's not sponsored, but I did wanna share that too because this is like definitely one of my newfound favorites. Last thing is the Summer Fridays lip balm. I of course don't have it with me because it's in my gym bag, but that's all I ever put on my lips. Like I'm not like a lipstick gal. I'm always just like a chapstick kind of girl. I have two more new found favorites. Sweatshirts from Abercrombie. That's where my last one was. My sister-in-law again has been obsessed with them. And I found this one and I think it is so freaking cute. Sweatshirts are just so cozy, so cute. And then my other found favorite are Wonder Trains. I love them so much and I don't know if it's because of this like little drawstring right here, keeping it like tight here, but I could say I like them just as much as I like Aligns. I don't know which one I like better, but I love them both. They still have that same like soft feel I think they're a little bit thicker, but they are so good. And I just need a color for every single week now between the lines and the Wonder Trains. But yes, we're definitely going comfy, cozy today. It is still a little cloudy here in Arizona. I have been missing the sun for sure, um, but it's fun too. It just kind of feel cozy. <laughs> This little girl and I have been going at it today. Before her nap, I could not get her diaper on to save my life. She just kept kicking her legs, arching her back. It was extremely difficult. And then I just spent the last like 15 minutes trying to feed her and she's like wrestling me. What is going on? So she just like hardly ate and long story short, I've run out of my freezer supply and I've been giving her like two to three ounces at night, like for months. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to, awesome, um, drop a feeding soon so that way I have enough milk, which means I need her to like eat good solid feeds, but because she just did not eat very well, I'm like stressed even more. Oh, yay! Anyways, just some stressful mom moments for you, but we're gonna go to Target. We need to get some stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, she's just like on one right now. I don't know what it, this little silly mood is, but you're silly. 
Anyways, I need some things from Target, so we're gonna run there. And yeah, wish me luck. Oh, you saved your face. Yeah, love you. Nothing is truly yours anymore as a parent. Yeah. <laughs> it's been 72 uh -huh. weeks in this town. Thank you. All right, are we ready to go? There you go. I was switching again until we get there. I'll I'll see you you again. You. All right, to Target we go. You want to do that? Do you want to come to Echo Side? Okay, I'll come get you. Are you going to come out my window or your window? Are we supposed to climb this way? No. If you want to get out of your car seat by yourself, you need to listen. Go out through your door, please. Mama's going to come around and get you. Laser butt. I'm gonna put you in your high chair, okay? And we'll eat it there. Do you wanna sit across from Echo Bay? Are you saying more? Let me see, more? Good job. You say, yay, Echo! Yay! You always have this foot up here, huh? Mm. I got Rocky a little Lunchable from the Good and Gather brand. He's never had a Lunchable before, so I'm curious how he'll like this. This is the pizza one. And we're also gonna make a smoothie, huh, babe? Yeah. Echo Babe is snacking on these little like puffs. This is something Rocky actually never ate because he did not like them. I went to Target for two things. The first was puffs, but the Serenity Kids brand, um, I have heard them on the Skinny Confidential and I really liked like their brand, but clearly they were just constantly like sold out because both of them were gone there. Um, this was like the next best thing. This just buys me like a little bit of time while I am making them food But then also this has like five servings of superfood veggies Broccoli like just a bunch of things that she doesn't normally eat. So I felt good about this But the other reason was I wanted to get stuff to make smoothies because I make smoothies for myself often but I've been out of making smoothies for the kids for a long time and I'll give a potty training update when the kids are down because things are just like too chaotic right now, but um, I need Rocky to eat more fruits and vegetables if you know what I mean. So we're gonna make a smoothie. They're gonna have that on the side. I'm gonna give some to Echo as well. The last three days I have been putting their high chairs like this where they just like face each other. And I feel like they've been eating so much better. Um, I haven't turned on the you know what. They've just been like staring at each other, waving high, eating. So if you have two kids, face them at each other and see, see how it goes. data <laughs> I've resorted to drinking my protein shake literally just orange juice with clean simple eats protein in it because it's just all I feel like I have the time for I feel like I'm being a little bit negative in this vlog so I'm sorry um Fennel has had like an insanely busy work week he's been working like at 5 30 in the morning till like I take over and then after the kids go down 
he's been working till like 9 p.m. and like he hasn't been able to like help me put Rocky down and like even bedtimes, like he's just working a ton. I literally couldn't even record the podcast last night because he was supposed to be on it with us. And then yeah, it's just been chaos. If I seemed very refreshed in the last vlog and already not in this one, it's because it's just been a long week, but I have yet another pile of laundry to fold and I figured I would do some habit stacking, something I have been trying to do. I've got my protein, my laundry, and a story to tell. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share an update on Rocky's potty training. Um, I kind of like shared and then I stopped. And honestly, just, I feel like I'm trying to find like the balance of like what to share about my kids and whatnot, as I kind of talked about in the last vlog. But basically, um, he's been doing really good with pee. He's had like maybe one or two accidents since like day three um like the accident he actually had um over the weekend was because we were shoveling rock and we all forgot and we were all busy and i think he just like didn't realize he had to go until he was going but anyways p has been super good he sits on the toilet we don't even use the seat anymore he likes to just sit all the way back and his feet have fallen in once and so every time we get on he tells me don't put my feet in um He's so funny, but poop has been another story, which again, I don't know how much I want to share, but basically like he's just afraid. And so he's been holding it and he'll hold it up to like five days. And then he's basically just like screaming as it comes out, because as you hold poop, as you can imagine, it constipates you and it's scary to come out. Um, I also did some research and realized that Kids don't like to poop because they think that like a body part of them is falling out. So that has been a struggle. I mean, I started doing this, I think like October 1st, I'm pretty sure, or somewhere around there. And it is now January 4th and we are still struggling with poop. Um, he had an accident literally a week ago at the park. Um, and then he had one other accident with poop with my mom at the park. And besides that, like he doesn't have accidents. He just like screams and like does not want to be on the toilet. Um, we've been still doing sticker charts for poop just to like give him an incentive. And we finished one and we started another because my goal now is to not just get him pooping on the toilet, but get him like comfortable. Um, so I've been like really putting him on the toilet as often as possible and just trying to get him practice pushing because he just needs to get over the fear of pooping. Now, along with that, I ended up researching like what constipates toddlers because I just want it to be as easy as possible for him, if you know what I mean. And basically his entire diet constipates him. Um, the biggest thing was like dairy, which you guys know dairy is like a food group for him. Um, meat is another thing and that boy eats a ton of meat. And then of course like processed foods and sugar, which he doesn't eat like a ton of that, but he definitely gets that daily. And so instead of like cutting out a bunch of things, I feel like I, for my own diet, try not to like cut out things, but like more so replace with good things. That's what I'm trying to do with him. I'm not gonna put my two-year-old on a diet. Um, I just want to add in some good things. And so that's why I got the stuff for the smoothie to add in fruits and vegetables. Um, he really just does not like to eat vegetables like at all, even avocado he doesn't really wanna eat anymore. So I found those avocado like frozen slices and I threw that in there um, and he loved it. He doesn't even realize there's like spinach in there. There's a bunch of mixed berries, just a bunch of fruits that he like wouldn't normally eat. So that's going to be my win. I'm also going to try and sneak it into like as many other foods as possible, but I know that that's just like an easy way and the kid loves smoothies. And in return, that gets me giving it to Echo as well. Um, Echo eats pretty much anything, although I did make a smoothie for them yesterday and I tried giving it to her through a straw and she did not like it. So that is why I spoon fed it to her today and she liked it a whole lot more. She ate all of her portion so if you guys struggle with that maybe try that as well but that's the update um i don't know that i really want any like recommendations i feel like each kid is so different and i think we can figure it out but i've had a lot of you guys ask for an update so that is why i shared but i'm gonna get this laundry done and then i need to get some work done as well Folded on the lawn chair in all the colors Kids 
are still asleep. It's like 2.30. Uh, but I just went ahead and made Rocky a little like sensory play activity with the droppers. I'm really having fun with the droppers. Um, this one, he's literally just going to take like colored water and put it on a paper towel and just like paint with the water. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was a cute idea. And I'm sitting here trying to think of something Echo can do. I find that sensory play is just like so much easier for toddlers. We were going to go to the park when they woke up with my sister-in-law, but I'm just kind of not feeling it. I kind of just feel like staying home. I think it's just because we left for the morning portion. Uh, it is kind of like cloudy again and gloomy, so maybe that's it. But I also feel like when I leave right now, like I don't have time to make dinner and then it's just kind of chaotic for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna find a recipe to make for dinner, I don't really know what I'm feeling, but I kind of want to make something new. It may be soup just because it is kind of cloudy, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling yet. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure out something Echo can do. If all else fails, I'm going to give her a bath tonight and maybe just do like a bubble bath. That girl loves to just like sit under the faucet and just like play with the water. So I know she'll love that, um, which will be good, but that's kind of the plan right now. Remember you squeeze it. Is that cool? I could really use some stuff like that. Is that cool, babe? He played with this for like 15 minutes. He really liked this one. And it's cool because it looks like tie-dye. But he's looking, what are you looking for? Still haven't cleaned up lunch, but you want what? You want your trash truck? The trash truck. Okay, let's go get it. It's in the car. Remember we took it to Target. Yeah. He is going to watch Paw Patrol for like 10 minutes while I feed Echo and he has like the little rocky um, trash truck so that's what he's looking for we took it to Target with us so I believe it's in the car welcome to my garage featuring Nathaniel's American flag it's actually pretty clean in here um, Nathaniel organized it when we picked up Christmas but Rocky why don't you climb in there and see if you can find your trash truck okay and tell me all the Y'all, I just finished feeding Echo and she was like laying on my lap so I like bent down to like kiss her and I definitely like bent weirdly down but I'm not kidding, I'm pretty sure my intestines went into my lungs. Um, I felt them like go up and then I felt like I couldn't breathe and I called Nathaniel because I was like freaking out and as soon as I like he answered they like released like I felt them like drop I'm pretty sure that's not normal especially for how postpartum I am so love that for me but sis woke up in a great mood and we're gonna go get Rocky Boy should we go outside <laughs> what was that face should we go outside and go play get some fresh air yeah. We played out in the backyard for probably like 20 minutes or so. It's super nice, but it's about to rain, so that's why we came inside. But I'm going to test out having the kids play in the playroom for like five minutes while I start cutting veggies for dinner. So let's let's see how this goes. Echo, you cannot get the camera. That went about as good as I'm sure you guys imagined. Um, the playroom is a wreck, but they did decent for not really doing that. Tonight we are going to be having ramen, but like juiced up ramen. This is honestly one of my favorite meals. I was gonna make a healthier soup, but we do not have all the ingredients for it and I am not running to the store. So if you guys wanna try this, basically you put whatever veggies you want, egg, and steak in it and it is so good. You kind of like poach the eggs so that way they are not like runny in there. Um, we're gonna do broccoli, green onion, and jalapeno. And then we also add sesame oil and just like a little bit of soy sauce and 
it's so good. Rocky is back to another like 10 to 15 minutes of TV until Nathaniel's done. It's 4.45, so Nathaniel has like 15 more minutes and then, what are you doing? And then we'll turn it off. But honestly, I just have to use it as a helper where I can get it because I need to make dinner. Are you using the big fork like I am? I can see in herself. I filmed like a TikTok of our outfits today, and you loved seeing yourself. Huh? Which, by the way, I hit 10K on TikTok today, which I know is not like huge for many people, but I still have no clue what I'm doing on that app, so I was pretty stoked about it. Um, but we're about to go on a walk. It is like almost six, I think it's like 5.55, and we need to get outside. Huh. Get some energy out for Rocky. <laughs> You're so sweet. So that is where we're gonna end today's vlog. Do you wanna say bye? <gasps> Good job! I don't know if you guys can see her back hand. Use this hand. You say bye? <laughs> Good job! Bye! <laughs> I cannot with her, you guys. I know she's my daughter, but I just think she's the cutest freaking thing in the whole world. Mm -hmm. I love you, sweet girl. All right, let me get Rocky. Rocky! Do you want to say bye? Bye! Here, come here, ready? One, two, three. Just my two babies. Bye! Bye! So you'll see you in the next one. Bye, Sharon. <laughs> bye, guys. Dad, I want to make his one and only appearance in the vlog. If I've been down today, it's this guy's fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Bye, guys.